Another thing that inspired me to make this cocktail was Kate Sessions, the lovely lady that basically built Balboa Park. So some of the inspiration behind the cocktail is uh, I actually live two blocks away from the park, so it is near and dear to my heart. So walking through the park, uh, getting all of those you know, fresh chaparral uh, smells and aromas uh, from a clean, crisp day. The blood orange also is a reminder of beautiful sunsets over Balboa Park, the hazy red hue as the sun sets and it brings to mind all the gorgeous, beautiful memories, tying together beautiful moonlit paths, Spanish moss. Balboa Park is where we put all of our culture. Usually in a major American city, it's all spread out and, and it's very efficient. San Diego took it all and then just moved it all to one place. The inspiration behind my cocktail is that I'm one of the lucky few who's grown up here in San Diego and I was one person who actually has lived on Park Boulevard, only a mile from Balboa Park. And for me, I got to run up and down Park Boulevard every day, which is also amazing because I got to see a lot of things and it kept me running longer, faster. A few years ago, I teamed up with a group of people. Um, we would basically go out to markets around San Diego um, that were going to be throwing out their day-old groceries. Saturday morning, we would have a fat barbecue and like breakfast gathering in Balboa Park for all the homeless people out there. My first job was in the park, and so that kind of commute to me, the going into the park will always be a distinctly San Diego thing to everybody probably, but especially to me. She started uh, planting all kinds of trees and different plants and basically built the botanical garden that we know it as today. She is considered the mother of Balboa, so nothing, none of this would have been possible without her. It kept me healthy while I'm in this industry that some people may not be as healthy in. And some of the stories we heard were crazy, but like they were stories that we had never heard before. That's one cool thing I like about San Diego is that it doesn't matter who you talk to, there's always going to be something that can be contributed to your life through someone else's experiences. That's, that's some of the inspiration I find in, uh, in the ingredients that we have before us and also the environment around us.